Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's where I became interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's where we kind of got the the melding back five years ago when we were going through the the beginning stages of Metric Mate, which at the time we I felt like we was like pushing, but now I see it was like it was definitely a completely different time. Now that's kind of that's the type of stuff that went through my head when we said five years ago, and I was like. Yeah, we was like we had things, but we got things now. Yeah, and the amount of things and the amount of of, of, of knowledge and skill that has come over that time is crazy. So, Y'all I'm pretty on, sure man. from the beginning of the, I'm gonna be that guy in fitness, to now a lot has changed. So let's let's start there. Yeah. So what got me into fitness was high blood pressure and heart issues. Yeah. So I went to the doctor, and. We were going back and forth, different medications, nothing was really working. Um, got to the point where the doctor put me on a heart medication and it was working, but but nothing else was working, right? <laughs> the side effects, basically. And so... Um, That's the problem going on Yeah, man. <laughs> I, 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 I wore a heart monitor for like six months, man. Um, and then I remember the last day I saw that doctor, um, I was doing an EKG. Mm. And I had been telling him I've been having heart issues. Like literally, I would be in the grocery store, drop down to my knees, feel like I'm having a heart attack. People would stop. And I'm like, I was so used to it, like, oh, it'll pass. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> Yo, that would freak me out. Yeah. <laughs> I just knew that I was going to be dead like a long time ago, right? Uh, and so I was still hooked up to the lease. Nurse had left the, the room mm. and the doctor was like typing notes. And he turns around and looks for the nurse like, are you getting it? So I'm sitting down and he was just like, it literally, you're sitting down in a rested state and your heart just spiked like you're running a marathon or sprint. And, and I was just like, I'll do something was off. Yeah. So from there, he just goes into the mode. He was just like, we got three options. It was uh, open heart surgery, mm. um, another medication. Um, and then the third was like, you can walk out of here and hope that we you may save you. Yeah. Jeez. So I was just like, dude, I'm already on two, three medications. I, I don't want to do a fourth or a third. I can't remember. I was on so much medication. And and I was just like, and you want to do open heart surgery, but you don't really know what's going on. Right. So I don't feel comfortable with that. So I'm gonna take my chances. And he was like, good luck. So <laughs> I go to the uh, I go to the um, the the pharmacist and I, I, I to get my prescription. Do that thing was like for one pill. It was like uh, 180 something dollars and some change. And I was like, screw this. Man, I didn't know anything about health and fitness. I drove by the local gym. I don't even think it's even around anymore. It's D1 Fitness. Signed up, $10 a month. Start Googling stuff. Yeah, kidney beans, heart health, you know, the whole nine. And that was the start of my journey, man. That was the start of my fitness journey. Yo. (laughs) Yeah. And let's just say, Working out sucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Working out. Tell sucks. the truth. Tell yeah, the truth. I, I'm just gonna be it's, real. It's not easy for yeah, you. Yeah, it's not easy. Right, <laughs> like, this thing from the beginning. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's hey, what man. people think, but it's, that's not the case. You know, it's. So I'm like, I'm in the gym. I'm getting healthier, and I'm like, man, I can't do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> Although it's saving my life, it's like, this, this sucks. So one of my buddies was like. You know, I know this guy, he did a bodybuilding show. Maybe you should talk to him. And I was like, cool. You know what? I need to set a goal once a year, do one thing, you hmm. know, lead up to that six months. You know, I was like, how long it is? He was like, oh, it's probably like a six month process. Okay, six months of working out really hard. Hit that goal, good. Just do that once a year. I'll stay healthy. I just need it. I'm goal oriented. Yeah, I just need it, something. It. And so that's how I got into bodybuilding, man. I did my first show, and it was funny because I called my mom before the show started, and I told her I won. And she was like, congratulations. I was like, no, 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 not like that. I was just like, I made it. Blood pressure is good. 
I'm healthy. I made it. I don't even need to go on stage. You're right, right, right. So, right. And you're then right. I had abs, you know? <laughs> like, I'm winning right now. Yeah. I have the truth. I looked good. I felt good. True. And that was like, who knew? To me, that was just like one goal. But who knew that was the start of an entire bodybuilding career, yeah. you know? Um, I went from that to, it was a natural bodybuilding show. Then I went to MPC, uh, won the Muscle and Fitness in 2014. From there, kept competing, got my pro card, I competed as a pro for about two, three years, and then I called it quits, you know? Uh, but that, that was, fitness saved my life. That was probably the best thing that ever happened.